Hey guys, so recently you've probably been hearing a lot about the USSD exploit for Android. And uh, originally this came out and they were saying that it was just for Samsung's TouchWiz, but recently there's been uh, more updates saying that it's been affecting more phones and different browsers as well. So I wanted to show you, as you'll see here, uh, a Droid Bionic running Chrome that's also vulnerable to this. And I've tested on other browsers as well, Firefox and also the stock Android browser, and uh, they're all vulnerable. So I just wanted to walk you through what's happening here and also a place where you can test this exploit for yourself to see if your own phone is vulnerable, and then also show you what you need to do. And I'll include links for these different resources in the comments for this video. Uh, the first thing, as you can see here, I have uh, Chrome loaded up, and I'm going to click on a website called USSD Exploit Test. And this is a web page that a... Uh, I'm not sure if it was a blogger or a security uh, researcher or someone made that essentially tests this exploit to see if your own phone, phone is vulnerable. And uh, the core of the problem here is that you can embed an iframe or a script that launches a telephone um, dialer app essentially on your Android device. And so what's happening is if you go to a, an application like Google Maps and you're browsing the business listings and you want to make a phone call, you just click the uh, the phone number and it'll open up your dialer and then you can call automatically. However, the Android dialer also has a lot of other functionality built into it such as wiping your device, uh, displaying your device ID, um, forwarding telephone calls, a bunch of other things as well. And these are each handled by unique codes that you can actually program into the dialer. So if I go to the dialer and I type you know, pound star, a certain series of numbers, pound symbol, and then click the dial button, then it will actually run whatever it is that I have set up. So um, I'm going to click this button and uh, hopefully we'll see what happens. Alright, so right here is the box that prompts you to select which application you'd like to handle this event. Now in the background, the the, uh, the browser is trying to load a tel what it's responding to is a telephone event. It's trying to launch the dialer. Now this is how I'm protecting myself and what you should do as well. You can install a third-party dialer uh, here I'm using Dialer1, you can get it off the marketplace and um, or the Play, Star, Play Store, excuse me and um, the way this is protecting you is because instead of just by default launching the phone dialer and running whatever series of numbers it is that they programmed into the web page Android's asking me which application I'd like to use to complete this action so I'm just going to select phone here and uh, when I click phone you can imagine that the following thing has happened uh, without any interaction with the user. If I hadn't installed this third-party app called Dialer1, then what's going to happen when I click phone is, would have happened, is what would have happened by default if I hadn't uh, installed any applications. So I'm just going to click phone, and you'll see, boom, right here, uh, my device ID, or MEID, has launched, and uh, there it is. Now, you can imagine the uh, the problems that you'd run into here is if that code that launched that MEID box was not a code to launch the MEID box but rather a code to wipe your device. It ran instantly without any user interaction. So uh, like I said, um, to protect yourself against this you simply install a third-party app like the dialer so that when you load this page you get a, a prompt asking you which application you'd like to use and then if you're not sure what's happening you can just press the back button and boom, no exploit. So uh, hopefully this makes a little more sense for you guys. You can understand what's happening. Uh, as you can see here, Droid Bionic, Ice Cream Sandwich, Chrome Browser, and Exploits running for me. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and I'll try to uh, help you understand this a little better.